So what is up guys? This is Mark Chess once again. Before we start, I would just like to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Watch my other videos, it will go a long way. And let's do the performance review of the new Why Not 0.2. So guys, I have been waiting for this shoe to come out here. Why not 0.1 was one of my favorite shoe to hoop in in 2018. So I was really anticipating for this to come out. And the first time that I saw this colorway, I really like it. I know a lot of people didn't like how loud this is. It was really a reflection of how Russell Westbrook is. His character, his style of play, it's really aggressive, very loud and out of the box. As you know, even his outfits, the Grabe. Didn't know who styled him, but it works for him. And I dig his style and his character. Um, he doesn't conform to the other players or the people around him. And that's what I love about Russell Westbrook. A lot of his teammates have been attesting to that, that he's one of the best teammates that they have ever had, like Steven Adams. I think that's why Paul George stayed in OKC, it's mainly because of Russell Westbrook. They're really tight. Russ really has his teammates back. So I think if you have Russ in your corner, you know that you have a good teammate behind you. So kudos to the Brody Westbrook. So let's go back to the shoe. Did it disappoint? Did it outperform the first rendition? As for the upper of the shoe, it's mostly mesh all throughout. It's different kinds of mesh. On the toe box area, the blue ones, it's the more typical standard mesh. But as you go here, it's also mesh. It's like carbon fiber-ish. It has that look, but it's still textile. I love the texture of it. The black part also has a different texture, like diamond shape. It's still textile. In the heel part, there's also like snake skin and it's kind of embossed, which is really nice. Um, it's not that thick, so it's not heavy too. Overall, the upper of the shoe is really nice, very cool. I like the attention to detail of the shoe. I don't know if the same texture will apply in the other colorways. Let's wait and see. He had worn two different colorways. Um, there was a white one and there's an all blue one, but I'm not sure if they have the same texture. The tongue part has the same texture that you can find in the heel. So very nice textures all around the shoe. And on the lateral part of the shoe, it has a synthetic leather which adds to lateral support. So when you tighten this up here, it hugs your foot down. So lateral support in this shoe is great. When I played with them, I was really contained in the footbed. I think this helps a lot of sneakers out now are implementing wings, especially here in the midfoot, near the toe box, like the PGs. The Wades, the WOW 6 also had the strap there. A lot of sneakers now are putting some details around here for lateral containment. I think that's really good because a lot of players like me really likes that, that you feel really contained in the footbed and of course laterally. And moving on to the midfoot, if the strap is not enough, they also added a strap here in the midfoot. Also hugs you and it works. So support and lockdown on the shoe is excellent. I really loved it right off the bat. I didn't feel any wobbling of my foot inside the shoe. Very nice containment overall. The shoe is a mid cut like the first ones. So when you really tighten this up, it also serves an extra ankle support, which I really love. The inside of the shoe is an additional layer which really hugs your foot when you pull down the straps. Inner layer, which is very well cushioned, hugs your feet very well, and it's really comfortable. Right off the bat, the comfort level on the shoe is excellent. No discomfort whatsoever all over the shoe. It's all made of very soft materials all throughout. Outside, this red plate is an external heel counter, which really locks you down. I feel very well supported in the heel. Inside is another internal TPU heel counter, which is connected to the inner layer of the shoe. So you're very well supported in the heel. As for me, heel lockdown and support on the shoe is excellent no complaints at all now some trivia about this future history colorway is jordan brand promised different storytelling on the different colorways of the why not 0.2 as for this the future history the colors of the upper of the future history colorway are the team colors of russell westbrook mainly okc the blue and orange the red yellow and the other colors are russell westbrook's previous teams and now here in the middle part of the midsole you can see a black 
portion here. It is a tribute to the best friend of Russell Westbrook who passed away. So instead of the initials, which he usually writes in the 0.1. So Jordan Brand put a black part here to give tribute to the best friend of Brody. So that's a nice touch on the shoe. The midsole and outer cushion of the 0.2 is an injected phylon. And it's not similar to the ones that you can see in the Kobe 80s. This is a different density injected phylon. It's quite similar to the cloud foam found in the leanings and in the antas. It's very soft, it's very plush. This white part here in the hill part is a huge chunk of that. Even though there's no zoom unit here, the impact protection is very good. I really love the ride in it. I mean, it's a bonus if you have a zoom unit here in the heel, but I'm not complaining at all. I think it's overrated to have zoom unit in the heel. It's a plus, but it's not a necessity because you usually stride with your forefoot when you're jumping and when you're running it's all in the forefoot here more it's a support when you go down the back protection here on the heel part for me you need just great cushioning this one gives you that it's very plush when you land in your feet it's very soft kudos to jordan brand for implementing this and as for the forefoot i think there's a big zoom unit here didn't see the picture of the zoom unit but as you can see on the shape of the 0.2s and the shape of it is very similar to the 33 so i think they have the same size of zoom zoom unit located here in the forefoot. When I was playing with it, right off the box, I was feeling the zoom. Because of the softness of the Fidon, you will really feel the zoom unit in the forefoot. They took it up a notch on the cushion setup in the 0.2. I really love the cushion setup on the 0.1. The full zoom unit that you can find there, it was a really nice ride. But this one, they really leveled it up. Good job, Jordan. Another thumbs up for you. Now let's move on to the outsole of the shoe. For the traction of the shoe, it has circular pattern all over and it is decoupled. As you know, Brody loved the 29th and the 28th, which has the coupled outsole. As you can see, it's rounded. It's not flat too. So heel to toe transition is very good. When you're running, you can really feel that the shoe is helping you. And it is smooth right running with this. It goes really up here. It's curved. And also in the forefoot, very similar to the 33s and the LeBron 16s. The tip of the forefoot area is a bit higher than the center of the forefoot, which really helps the heel to throw transition. I think Nike and Jordan brand are implementing that in the newer models of the basketball lines. So that's a nice job for both brands, Nike and Jordan brand, which I think other brands should follow because it really gives you a nice ride while you're running and even walking and jumping. So there you go. And here in the mid part of the shoe is a yellow TPU plate that will help you in the stability of the shoe. So it won't bend that much. It will recoil back to its shape, still giving you the stability when you're running and doing lateral movements. So you don't feel the shoe really twisting that much. Although it does give you a little give on the twist and bending still retains that stability all throughout the shoe. So as for the traction of the shoe, it is really excellent. I mean, I love it right off the box. I was gripping, I was stopping on the dime. It was squeaking. So the rubber compound is XDR rubber. I don't know if that's also similar to the US release, but in Asia, we have the XDR rubber compound. I think that's one of the advantage that we have here in Asia. They use XDR rubbers mainly for Nikes. Uh, for other brands, I'm not sure if they also do that, that they release different rubber compounds for Asia and the US. So for the Asia release, I think you can use this outdoor because XDR is made for outdoors. The rubber here is very thick and I don't think it will fray that much. So for outdoor hoopers, I think you are safe with this. Of course, indoor is also great. And because the pattern of the outsole is YD space, dust pickup is not a concern. So minimal wipes every now and then, you're good to go all throughout the game. So some more details about this shoe. The size tag is located in the outsole. It didn't feel any effect of the size tag as for the traction. I know a lot of you are concerned that you might slip here, but no. The tag that you can find in the medial part of your left pair are the colors that you can find all throughout the shoe and some details about the colorway. It's really dope. The name of the colorway for this one, this is Future History. I really love the small details that they put in in the 0.2 given that the price is very affordable. It's 
125 dollars or 6,700 pesos here in the Philippines. 6,2 to 6,7. I have to double check. So I think this is one of the most affordable sneakers that is out now. Not just because of its price, but because of the tech and the performance that you will be getting on the shoe. I highly recommend the 0.2 overall. Durability is good. The upper is very supportive. Lockdown is also great. Lateral support very good heel lockdown and support is also excellent comfort level all throughout the shoe very good too i hope they looped it inside the inner layer because at first when you're putting up your foot this inner layer goes down with your foot so i think if the pull tab goes over here and while you're holding it won't go down when you're putting your foot in so that's a little touch that i hope jordan brand made and maybe a little more outrigger here on the lateral part although i didn't feel any lateral instability a little one here would help a lot you'll feel more secure but those are just some of the little issues that i have with the shoe overall the shoe is excellent as for sizing wise go through to your size if you're a regular foot I really love the Why Not 0 0.2. It will go in my rotation this 2019. And I will give you more updates when I play with this more. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.